Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name's Alexa. Today I wanted to start vlogging for this reading vlog about reading some of my childhood favorites. So I'm currently back home for the summer and I'm in my childhood bedroom. And when I traveled back here, I didn't bring any books that I wanted to read with me because I knew I was gonna accumulate books while I was here and I just didn't wanna have extra books to like bring back home with me. So when I was looking through my shelves, I got this idea to read some of my childhood favorites. They're more like my teen favorites, like my early teenager favorites, if you know what I mean. So I thought this could be fun, especially cause a lot of these books I haven't read in years and I remember loving them, but I just can't even remember most of their basic plot. So the books I'm gonna be reading for this video are Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This book I read, I think my junior year of high school. So not that young and not that long ago. But I remember really loving this book. I picked it up when I was looking for like a book with queer rep. And I really liked this book as far as I can remember. I started reading it yesterday and I'm up to page 77. This book is essentially about this girl, Emmy. She's a senior in high school. She's about to graduate. And she's like a set designer intern, sort of. <laughs> And she just recently broke up with her girlfriend who also works on set with her. And she also works on set with her best friend, Charlotte. And so this basically follows her just everyday life. And it also starts to follow this mystery that is happening that gets uncovered during the length of this book, which is that she goes to like this old celebrity's house to find set pieces. It's just like something you can do, just like go to garage sales and go to like celebrities who've passed away their like houses and look through their stuff and find like set pieces. So she goes to this one celebrity's house and her and her best friend end up finding this letter that he wanted to send to someone before he died, but he obviously didn't. And so they're kind of just trying to figure out who this letter belongs to and they're trying to reach out to them and try to get it to them. And that's where I'm at so far in the book. The next book I'm gonna read is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I'm really excited to reread this one because I read this one a lot younger than when I read Everything Leads to You. I think I read this when I was like 13-ish so I really don't remember a lot of this but I remember really liking it and I know there is like a sequel book coming out. This is the perfect time to read it and just like refresh my memory. So I'm really excited for this one. Anyway, I am going to read some more of Everything Leads to You and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I really like this so far. I remember a lot of its like basic premise because this one was the one I've read most recently. And it's honestly just like so fun, like the atmosphere of like, being in Hollywood and working on movies. And I know towards the middle and like end of this book, another romance sparks up. So I'm really excited to see where this keeps going. It is day three of reading Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I am, let's see, I'm at chapter 14, page 194. And I think this book is just a little over 300 pages. I sort of really want to finish this today. I don't know if that'll be possible, but if I don't finish it, I hope to get really close up until the end and then finish it tomorrow. It's honestly turning out to be a really fast paced read. I forgot a big kind of chunk of what happened or at least like the buildup of this relationship that's happening towards the middle of the book. I honestly forgot so much of it and like so much of the context surrounding it like completely so it's practically brand new to me and I checked my old Goodreads review and I originally gave this three stars so I'm interested to see if I change my mind a little bit or if I don't. I don't remember exactly how it ends either. We've actually gotten to a point where our main character Emmy is working on a different film that she got like recruited for and this girl who it's kind of complicated how she makes her way into this story but 
this girl Ava becomes a really important character and she becomes a part of the film in some sort of way so it's just really interesting and really cool. I really like it. I also appreciate that this is a YA book but it really feels like they're teenagers and they're like older teenagers and it's not straying away from mature themes. It's not necessarily anything like super, I don't know, graphic or extreme, but it's just like, I just feel like it's mentioning things that are real to teenagers and make sense in this context. I'm really enjoying the juxtaposition of our one character kind of dealing with her sexuality in like a super supportive and casual way and our other character sort of experiencing this totally different reaction and complete homophobia so i think that's really interesting that this book touches on both of those experiences i really like our main character all the characters are super likable and it's a pretty small cast of characters so that always makes it easier for me hopefully i can get a little bit more through it today if not finish it so yeah we'll see i'll keep y'all updated it has been a few hours it is almost five and i've read a lot i'm now on page 258 so i have like less than 50 pages so i'm feeling good i'm feeling good about my progress i like that this book pretty much just has like a really consistent positive storyline like obviously there's a lot of parts where it's um i don't know the characters are like going through it a little bit but for the most part like everything's just working out for these characters so i'm not like sitting around like being anxious like wondering what's gonna happen or like thinking that something bad's gonna happen it's just like a really easy read i took a break to eat some lunch i watched um noelle gallagher's reading vlog while i was eating and i've been thinking about like just doing something other than reading um I've been just journaling a lot lately and I've been doing tarot and stuff um just really trying to like focus on more like self-care type things and just like trying to take care of myself and do activities that I just enjoy to do in my free time and not beat myself up about it so yeah I hope I finish this today I have really high hopes it is the next day and I did finish everything leads to you but i did want to talk a little bit about this what i liked what i rated it so i ended up rating this originally three stars like i said but i ended up rating this 3.5 stars this time and i rounded it up to four i mostly did that just because i thought it was such a fast pace easy read i really liked a lot of the story i liked the ending i thought it was really sweet I really liked the found family trope in this book. I really liked all of the characters as well and there's a bit of mystery in this book that definitely is compelling. I wouldn't say it's a mystery novel whatsoever but there is just like a bit of putting pieces together that is happening during this book. I will say trigger warning for substance abuse and death because of an overdose. That is something they talk about a lot towards the end of this book. But overall, I thought it was a pretty sweet book. I thought it was all really cohesive and it was a nice like easy story to get through. I gave it a 3.5 only because I feel like it's not that memorable of a story. Um, but I still really enjoyed it and enjoyed my time reading it, so I did bump it up to a four. I feel like it definitely is a well-written book. Now that I'm finished with this, I'm going to move on to Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I'm really excited to read this one because it's been a while. I remember I actually did rate this three stars as well, which might be ironic the fact that I'm calling this like my favorites from my childhood because both of these I rated three stars but I think I was just such a different kind of book rater than I am now like I was just a little more um stingy. <laughs> I remember really loving this one and like having discussions with my friends about it who have read it too and really liking this 
but I do remember there were some aspects that I didn't love. So I think that's why I bumped it down to a three at the time. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot and I feel like this is a really great book to read in the summer. I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna start reading it now. I just read the beginning of Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I'm up to page, let's see, 56. This like section that just began called Sparrows Falling from the Sky. I really appreciate the fact that they're really short chapters. I love when books have short chapters. So far, I'm really liking the writing style. I really like the characters. I like how both of them are really different, but they just get along so perfectly. I'm really favoring Dante. I just feel like he's so interesting. If you don't know what this book's about, it's about these two boys, Aristotle and Dante, who are both kind of just like loners that don't really have friends. They're both just like kind of outsiders and they end up becoming friends and eventually the friendship develops into something more. And they both come from such different households. They really do just bond to being kind to one another and they're both Mexican so they bond over that. It's just a really good read so far. I'm really enjoying it and I love the style and how this is written. I like the whole, you know, conversation of all these things about like what makes a friend and I really like that Aristotle is almost just questioning a lot more and opening his mind up more because of Dante. I just feel like it's a really healthy relationship. Hopefully I'll read a little more today. I'm gonna make myself some lunch and I'm gonna go to my friends later. We're gonna go to Barnes and Nobles and probably get like food or something and go swimming. So I'm very, very excited for the rest of the day. It is a few days later. I have crossed over into the part of Aristotle and Dante that is called Letters on a Page. I am up to page 158. I'm really enjoying the character development. At first I was really favoring Dante when we were first introduced to him. I just thought he was such an interesting character. I really related to him at first and as the story goes on I'm almost like seeing parts of myself in both of them like they're both just such interesting and complex characters for 15 year old boys. I just love their relationship and the way they communicate with each other and how they're both so different from one another like Dante's the more emotional one who's just like such a thinker and loves to read and is into poetry and will cry all the time and like doesn't care what people think about him while Ari is more of a subtle character and keeps everything inside and all his feelings are like to him really minimized and so I think it's really interesting how this author has really formed these characters I feel like as much as the plot is interesting and important the characters just stand out so much more their friendship is you know just really subtly turning into something more and how they get along is just like on this level that they can't even really explain to one another. They can't even really understand like how their love for one another is forming because it's just so natural to them. A lot of the plot I just like totally forgot about and so it's honestly making for like such a fun read because it's literally like I'm reading it for the first time all over again. So I'm gonna read some more today. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I don't have anything else to do today. So. <laughs> Hello, let me move him. I thought I would update y'all a little bit. I didn't read it all yet, <laughs> but however, I've edited two videos. Now I'm taking a little snack break and then I think I'll read. I actually have two snacks. So my first snack is this like Oreo yogurt. I literally love these. I like the M&M ones. 
so good so good big fan big fan i also have this cupcake my brother is in like uh sixth grade so he had like a party at school you know like how you used to have parties <laughs> at school and he brought back cupcakes so i'm taking full advantage of it and eating lots of cupcakes as i should i might go get pizza with my friend we were gonna hang out today but then she was kind of feeling not up to it so i was like you know all good chill hang out take care of yourself um but she was like maybe we can go get pizza in a little bit so we might do that which would be very fun and exciting so yeah i'm gonna eat my snacks and then hopefully i'll read I really want to do that, so that'd be good if I did that at some point. <laughs> Exciting news, friends. I finally crossed over into the section called Remember the Rain. And I'm really excited because now um, the school year's over where Dante um, like moved away for the school year, but he's coming back for the summer. And now it's summertime all over again, and I'm really excited. I also wanted to shout out this bookmark. I got it from Sabine, from Sabine's Book Nook here on YouTube. Also says Sabine's Book Nook on it. And it's just so cute and adorable, and I realized I've never talked about it at any point. And I'm just in love with it. She designed it, and it's so beautiful. And I just, I love it so much. I adore it, but... Yes, I am very excited. I'm going to start reading this section now. I just read up to the point, um, all the secrets of the universe. And wow, I really, really love this last section. Like, I just really love the family dynamics of both of these boys' family. Like, it's just so complex and rich and interesting. I feel like this last section was just like so beautiful. It really gets into just the idea of families and parents hiding things or, you know, keeping things um, from their kids to protect them and not really knowing what is always the right thing to do when it comes to protecting their kids and telling the truth like what lines they want to cross and whatnot it really touched a lot upon that and this last section talked a lot about um just these struggles that Ari's been having this entire time with his parents with his family and just like bringing those problems to the forefront in a really healthy way I also love just like the fact that now Ari knows that Dante likes boys and it's just like totally not a big deal to him like it's just so casual and it's it's casual but it's still like talked about it's not like I don't know it's not brushed to the side it's still very much a topic that is important and is being mentioned and thought of it's not like this gigantic thing but you still get moments of Dante being like, I feel this way, I'm scared to feel this way, I'm scared to tell my parents, I have to tell my parents, and Ari just being there and just being supportive and just like being a good friend. Like it's just so wholesome and it's just so, so good. And I just feel like it's really building up to this ending and I'm so excited to see how it ends. I'm just super excited to get to this part. So who knows, maybe I'll finish this today. Hi, um, just me crying. <laughs> Let's have a talk. Okay, I just finished Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe like six seconds ago and I'm crying. Love that for me. I don't know what part of my like 13, 14 year old self didn't like this book. Like I liked it, I, I liked it, but I remember like feeling like three starry about it. And oh my God, I don't feel that way at all anymore. I don't feel that way at all. The ending of this book just like, just got me so emotional. The message of like friendship and love 
and just like discovering yourself and like coming of age like it was just so beautiful like it was just so good i just really enjoyed the entire time i was reading this book it was just such a good experience there was one little part that i didn't love and i remember not liking this part the first time around and i won't mention explicitly what it is but it's towards the end where um, Ari's parents kind of sit him down and tell him something and I think I just didn't like that because of the same reason I didn't really love it this time around it just like I don't know something about like him being told something as opposed to like him discovering this thing by himself like I just wish it maybe came about a little differently but I still really see how it made sense in the grand scheme of things, like the relationship between both of the boys and their parents just like was such a big part of this novel and it was so beautiful. Like the full circle that this novel took was just so incredible. I just loved it. I loved it so much. I'm so glad I reread this because now I like I don't know, I have a whole different opinion on it. And I have so many new thoughts about this and I'm just, I'm so glad I reread this. I, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> That's really that. Um, I feel like, I don't know what I'm gonna rate this. I feel like it's either gonna be 4.5 or five. Like I just enjoyed myself the entire time. So beautiful, loved the writing, just everything about it was stunning. How many 